Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so in this week's video we're going to be looking at a, a, a campsite that has a, a number of activities around it. Um, we didn't actually stay at this location, um, but I thought um, I'd give you a, an overview of what's there. We did go down and do some paddle boarding, um, and it is a location that we're looking to stay at in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just take this opportunity just to give you a bit of a, a walk around and, and, and just show you what's there as we were in the area at the time. So when you make your approach into Cowshot, this is the, the entrance as you sort of come through. Uh, you've got a car park here on the left hand side as you pull up, but um, yeah, uh, that is some distance from where you really want to be. Um, so I would ignore that and just carry on driving down uh, towards the other end. In terms of sort of parking, there is plenty of space down here. Um, along the beachfront and down the far end so yeah you shouldn't have an issue parking now there is a, a pay and display in certain points but um yeah that it will sort of that is signposted um and again you can either pay on card or you can pay using one of these sort of um general apps but again it will tell you on the on the meter exactly what to do now it is a, a stony beach, that's the only downside. Um, and on the right hand side is sort of your main beach side. And again, uh, a lot of people do sort of paddle boarding, um, surfing, canoeing, that side as well. Um, but again, if you want some calmer waters, you can go down here on the left hand side. On the left hand side currently, there's loaded load of grass area. And again, that's perfect for picnics, flying kites, that kind of thing, uh, or football. Again, just a nice grassy area. And down the far end, you, you've got um, a number of different things. You've got a, a slipway, so again, if you want to bring a boat, you can launch it from there. You've got a activity center, so things like Ringo's, skiing, velodrome, rock climbing. Uh, they've got a cafe in there as well, so again, you can get beverages and food. So yeah, it's quite a good setup in this location. This was the car park, the sort of pay and display that I was telling you about. And then here on the left hand side is sort of the, the, the sheltered lagoon side. So again, it's perfect for paddle boarding, a lot of uh, calmer waters than the other side. But it literally is only sort of a 30 second walk from one side to the other. Um, so again, you can sort of check out both, both areas and just see what takes your fancy. But here on the left hand side, you are able just to reverse straight back up in, uh, into a space and then set up for the day. So yeah, it certainly didn't take us long to get set up and get the boards on the water. Uh, obviously the girls uh, get priority, they take the board straight off us and uh, <laughs> go out. So um, yeah, we've got to make do with the two boards. But um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's nice just so it is quite flat as you can see. And they've got plenty of area just to sort of have a paddle around. Um, and it's quite shallow here as well. Again, even though they're quite far out, it's probably only up to their waist deep. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's good on that safety front as well. But it certainly gets quite busy in terms of paddle boarding and canoeing and that kind of thing. But yeah, not to the extent that, that you're in people's way. Obviously, it's, it's a massive open area there. <laughs> Whenever I get the opportunity, which isn't very often, and the board's free, then um, yeah, certainly jump on it quickly. Uh, but um, yeah, it's quite nice just to get out of the water and just um, get a bit of practice on the board. Um, and, what, and behind what you can see there, that is the campsite where you can see from like the white van down to sort of the actual sort of uh, white building in the background. So it's quite a good size. Um, and again, it's just, um, I'll leave a link in the description of below about how you can inquire if you want to sort of head down here. But yeah, it's, it's certainly busy at weekends um, and it gets booked up quite quickly. But uh, during the week seems to be uh, an option.
So this is in the activity center. Obviously you've got your uh, Ringo area where you're skiing, you've got your rock climbing uh, and the velo drones down the far end. Um, and then you've got your cafe here on the left hand side. So this is just outside the cafe now, actually on the beach side. And uh, obviously being Southampton water, you're gonna get a lot of cruise ships that, that sail through. Um, but um, like I say, it is a stony beach. That's the only side downside to this. Um, but uh, there on your your right hand side coming into shot is is the Isle of Wight. So again, you're quite close to that as well. Um, but again, it depends what you're actually here for, but there, there is plenty to do. So when you come out the activity center, this is what this is what's where you can sort of head down towards other Iron Alloy stations. So you can have a look at that. There is a the old fort. Um, I'm not sure if that's a, an actual museum that you can go round, but um, yeah, there's certain things to look at down in this location. And then this is the slip that I was telling you about. So again, you can uh, launch uh, any sort of boat from here. Um, it's uh, not tide dependent. Uh, and again, like I say, you've got a number of boats and jet skis that are continuously sort of coming in and out of the water. But um, yeah, it seems to be a sort of a good meeting point if uh, you're, you're thinking about bringing jet skis and that kind of thing down. And what's good to know is that boats and jet skis won't go round to the left where the actual paddle boarding is. Um, so again, you're quite safe from that perspective. So this is uh, the view from the other side of where we've set up and, and again it's, it is a really good location for paddle boarding, it is nice and flat and calm most of the time so um, yeah definitely sort of decide to go if that's what you're looking to do. So this is the caravan section and it's split into three, you've got your beach side, uh, you've got this sort of middle bit here on the left and then you've got the part on the right. And again, you can sort of select depending on what you're wanting to do. Um, in terms of being able to book this, there's a one-off fee of £30 for the year, and then you're then able to sort of book the pictures um, as and when they're available. But um, I'll leave a link for this website uh, in the description below. We gotta go soon. Little paddle boarders. Oh, you've tied them together? Yeah. <laughs> then earlier we connected that the red one, the red, the black part. I lost my shoe and the paddle. Yeah, and, and my shoe came off, so I needed to get, under, get that, and I lost the paddle. I had to go and get that, and I couldn't get back on. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any comments, drop them below. And uh, yeah, if you're liking the content, as always, if you can consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel, that would really help it to grow. And I will see you all on the next one. Cheers all.